Kenneth Ian Husband and Eddie Ream had their art studio torn apart during Hurricane Sandy, but now they're putting the pieces of what is left back together in a new space. Everything that was destroyed and more damaged by Sandy, we're trying to put it together to make it something beautiful for everybody to see. Their installation is the centerpiece of an exhibit called Brink at the Fauci Building in Long Island City. It focuses on artists' personal stories of catastrophe. As a curator, you want to deliver something that's aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, you really want to connect with the viewers on a human level. It's unfortunate that Sandy hit. There's so many people out there that had to walk away from their homes, don't even have homes, and we understand, we can relate to that. More than 20 artists are displaying their work. Stephen Halls expresses his concern about gun violence. The impetus was really the, the shooting of all those children at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown. And my daughter is about the same age and those kids were killed. And I figured now is the time to actually use the skills I have and say something clear. Artists historically, I think, are known for being very blunt about uh, what's going on in the everyday life. These paintings called Urban Jungle is about the trials of living in New York City. The curators say they want the exhibit to inspire others who are going through difficult times and give them hope. The message from the show is really that you can kind of come out of anything. Visitors say the images and work displayed are powerful. Besides, you know, having very skillful artists, they also have people thinking about important philosophical questions about our life. Brink is open for viewing Thursdays through Saturdays until the end of October. In Long Island City, Agnes Chung, New York One.